Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello there my friends, this is Kevin Lopez back again from Personal Tutors. Today the topic or the chapter that I'm going to go ahead and explain to you is from 7th standard in CRT syllabus. The book is called Honeycomb and the name of the chapter is Gopal and the Hilsa Fish. My friends, if you have gone ahead and read this chapter, perhaps it would be entering your half yearly examinations, you would have answered them, you would have gone ahead and seen the satire in this story. This story basically belongs to the coastal region of India. Hilsa is quite a famous fish in the West Bengal and the Bangla speaking sectors or sections of a country. The story starts so that there is a kingdom and the season of this fish arrives. Everybody is so emancipated with the so-called Hilsa fish that they just can't stop talking about it. They keep on talking about the fish all the time, day in, day out, every hour, every minute, every second. Incidentally, the story starts as the king in his court suddenly gets irritated. All of his courtiers, all of his ministers, whoever is present in the court is suddenly mesmerized by the fact that why the king is so annoyed. The king shows his annoyance by telling them that he's fed up of listening about this so-called Hilsa fish. Is there nothing else to do? So what he's asked, he asks one of his cleverest courtiers named Gopal, Gopal, if you can try not let anybody speak about the fish for just five minutes, I'm going to reward you. Gopal being a clever fellow and a clever person, agrees upon this, goes back to his home, dresses up in rags, rubs ash on his face and makes half beard. Now that is something that makes him or gives him a notion of being a lunatic. His wife asks him why is he doing so? He says he's going to buy a Hilsa fish. His wife again asks him, but why is he dressed so? Not asking anything about the fish, but thinking about the appearance that he would be carrying along while going to the market. In the market, when Gopal buys the Hilsa fish, a child screeks out to his mother and says, Mommy, look at the person. He's looking like a comical guy. This further emancipates the fact. Later on, Gopal starts walking through the marketplace, going towards the palace of the king. It happens so that nobody is concerned about the fish rather than looking at him, recognizing him and thinking about him that he's turned mad, he's a lunatic, something's gone wrong, he's gone crack or something like that because the disguise that he was, the attire and the appearance that he was carrying was almost of somebody, of a mad, or something like a madman. It happens so that incidentally Gopal reaches the palace where he's immediately stopped by the guards. Gopal explains to them that he wants to go in to meet the king where he was immediately stopped and said that they, they can't allow him to let in the palace. Gopal starts dancing. <laughs> now the guards really lose their charm. <laughs> and once they lose it, they start calling him, he's a madman, he's a lunatic, he cannot allow. Gopal starts shouting, screaming, I just want to meet the king, I just want to meet the king. Now here, the king overheard the conversation and asks the guards, what's wrong? 
it is the god who explains the king that there's a madman dressed up in robe with half beard and ash and he is incidentally insisting to go ahead and meet the king the king then says to let the person in and once gopal comes in he immediately realizes that this is gopal <laughs> the king asks gopal why is he dressed so thus gopal informs him that the king too is not about not asking about the hills of fish that he is carrying in his hands but is more mesmerized by his appearance thus he won the bet and once again becomes the charm of the king instead of the courtiers speaking about him that he's gone mad or anything like that nobody notices is that he's carrying the fish everybody notices his attire his appearance my friends we we'll look at a few question and answers now the first question is why did the king want no more talks about the hills of fish because since it was the season of hills of fish everybody in the kingdom was constantly speaking about the fish the appearance the taste the types and various things the king had really gone wanky over the stuff he was annoyed he really did not want to listen anything more about the fish because he was fed up there was nothing else to do just talk about the fish question number 2 is what did the king ask gopal to do to prove that he was clever the king asked gopal to go ahead and grab a fish that is a hilsa fish and come back to the palace without making anybody discuss about the fish no talks no discussions no thoughts no provocations gopal really went ahead and agreed it he agreed to the matter that the king had stated and did his task he actually performed it very well my friends what are the three things that gopal do before he went to buy his hilsa fish the first thing that gopal did before going to buy the hilsa fish was he half shaved himself then he smeared his face with ash and the final thing that he did was he wore a disgraceful ragged torn dress how did gopal get inside the palace to see the king after he had bought the fish gopal reached the palace gates spoke to the guards wanted to get in but it happened so that the guards wouldn't allow him to go in there that's where he started dancing and shouting he started yelling i want to meet the king thus <laughs> letting the king overhear him as well so he succeeded in entering the palace explain why no one seemed to be interested in talking about the hilsa fish which gopal had bought since gopal was wearing a funny attire he carried an appearance that was so hilarious and comical that no one else bothered to think about the fish that he was carrying rather than speak about the appearance that he had and thus diverting their minds towards him rather than the fish that made gopal successful in carrying the fish without having any discussions or talks about the so called famous hilsa fish so this was a brief explanation my friends that i have carried on for the chapter gopal and the hilsa fish to the top left of me you can find the information button if you just click on it you will be followed directly to the playlist of the so called sections and you'll be getting various videos that are related to standard 7 also at the end of the video there are annotations where you can go ahead and check out further more videos of the so called sections my friends if you want data online we provide it online 
if you want it in pen drive we provide it in pen drive please comment subscribe to our channel and if you want to know something about us just press the button about us thanking you today this is kevin lopez